Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to see step by step procedure on how to apply for SBI NRA housing loan with forms and supporting documents. Here we have two scenarios. Scenario 1 single applicant. Scenario 2 with co applicant. Example husband and wife want to apply for the loan. First one is loan documents. Form A, Form B, Form C and Form D. Second one is Form 6, Asset and Liability Document. Then SBI, Power of Attorney for Loan. Next, SBI, NRA Account Opening Form. This is for the person who is not having SBI account already. Now we are going to see how to fill Home Loan Application Form. Form A, Form B, Form C and Form D. Before filling the form make sure you, have, you are filling it in the block letters form a personal detail now we are going to apply for single applicant so i will choose this single applicant then name of the single applicant full name first name and last name gender salutation here you have to fill the age of the applicant date of birth like first date month year next marital status whether you are married or not name of the spouse Name of number of the dependent, number of children you have, and name of father, aspirant passport or um, driving license. Mother's maiden name should be filled here. Next category should be filled here. Next nationality and residential status. Here I am going to fill like NRI because it is NRI loan. Then religion should be filled here. Date of birth, place of birth, photo identification, type, example passport, you can fill like passport, then photo identification, ID number, passport number for example and photo ID valid up to the passport expiration date, driving license number, driving license expiration date, PAN number, here should be filled here and passport number should be filled here and passport valid date that is expiration date. Next, highest qualification that you have attained should be filled here. Next, year of qualifying that is year of pass out should be here filled here. Then, attach here your recent passport side photograph should be attached here and you have to sign here in this place. Then, present address the current address you are staying. For how many years you are staying, the current address should be filled here and in months also. And your current address should be filled in here like house, flat number, city, state, district, country. All these details should be filled here and your personal email ID should be given here. Then see if, if the permanent address same as present address. So if it is yes, you no need to fill this one. If no, you have to fill this. This is your permanent address. So you have to fill all your all the details like house, flat number, city, state, telephone number, etc. in here. Then if you have any office and business address, that should be filled in here. Like name of the organization, landmark, city, state, phone number, everything should be given. An organization, email ID if any. Then repayment mode, whatever mode you like check off or ECS, PDCs or SI whatever you like. Then relationship with the bank is less than year, one year and one to three year or more than three year. It's like whatever. Next the reference. You have to give two reference here and the email ID address everything. Next we are going to fill this form B employment and income detail. So this is a single applicant. So I'm, I will choose this single applicant checkbox. Then name of the occupation and all your details, employer name, experience, etc. should be filled here. All your employee details and then uh, website of your company, uh, employee, employee number which is given by your company. All these details should be filled here. If your business are self-employed, then your business name, trade license number, PO, POA holder, name of the POB holder should be given here. Then income and financial details like income details should be given here. Then 
existing loan if any if you have any existing loan you have to give all the details about the existing loan here then bank account held what are the bank account you have currently having so you have to give all the bank account details and branch etc here and then if you have any credit card their details should be given here accordingly then fixed deposit if you have any fixed deposit already you have to give that detail also so if you have any other current assets like bonds share mutual funds whatever thing you have invested you can give or you can also give that here here you have to give the full name first name and last name date like first one is date month and year format then you have to the first applicant should sign here single applicant should sign here then form c property and loan details here scheme name i will choose like sbi nra housing loan next these are your property details you have to fill the plot number your property the current property for which you are going to get loan you have to fill all the details about the property like boundaries build up areas uh, and the builder name all these details here should be filled here and then address of the property for which you are going to get the loan then loan detail the cost of the property and for how much amount you are going to apply the loan should be filled here the cost of the property is here and the loan is here or amount is here then down payment how much you are going to how much down payment you have done going to do and percentage here should be filled here then loan repayment should be is like monthly or bimonthly quarterly or annually depending upon your preferences then tenure months in months then loan purpose what is the pur purpose for your loan like you are going to get a new home or um, purchase of a new house for purchase for the new constructions etc etc so based on your preference you have to take check to check the box okay next this is do you wish to be covered by home loan insurance this is for home loan insurance if you want home loan insurance you have to check yes or no if yes if you check yes whether one time premium will be added by you paid by you immediately or you would like to add the premium to the home loan if you if it you have to you are paying the premium then check box check this box or if you want to add the premium to your home loan uh, mention above then you have to check this box then you have to sign in the the first applicant has to sign here next thing is form d declaration it's a declaration form here the first the first applicant single applicant has to sign here the place and the date this should be signed by the bank filled by the bank what we have seen now is for single applicant for scenario 2 with co-applicant that husband and wife both are applying for loan jointly for that we have to take separate copies of form a and form b the two copies of form a and two copies of form b and it has to be filled individually by the applicant and co-applicant and signed accordingly in their papers then form c here the here the, the first applicant should sign here and the second applicant should sign here likewise in the form d the first applicant should sign here and the co applicant should sign here and you should not change the places of the applicant you should be very careful on that this brings the end of the home loan application form next we are going to see how to fill form 6 asset and liability document form 6 personal asset and liability statement here if you have any personal asset you have to give fill the details here your house number address of the property and value of the property if you have any then other liquid asset if you have any liquid asset you can fill all these liquid asset here then total amount the total worth of the liquid asset next liabilities if you have any other liabilities like home loan etc you have to fill this here and the amount total amount of the liabilities then signature of the single applicant for scenario 2 with co applicant when husband and wife applying for the loan jointly you have to take two copies of personal asset and liability statement 
and each one has to fill it individually and sign their document now we are going to see sbi power of attorney for loan here in this block you have to give the primary applicant single applicant full name here their father's name here and then their current address present address should be filled here in this block and then do hereby appoint and constitute for whom you are going to give your power of attorney power the name of the person should be given here and the son of their um, their father name should be filled here and their current address should be filled here then the signature of the applicant should be signed here and the current address should be written here then you have to paste your photo here and you have to sign below the photo next you have to get the notary sign this is for single applicant for scenario 2 with co applicant here you have to give name of the primary applicant and name of the secondary applicant son of primary applicant primary applicant's father's name and secondary applicant's father's name and the and their current residing address should be given here then do hereby appoint and constitute for whom you are going to give power the name of that person should be given here and their husband's name or father's name then their current residing address should be given here then in signature the first applicant signature should be given here and second applicant signature should be given here and their current residing address then here you have to paste first applicant passport side photograph and second applicant passport side photograph and both have to sign below their photograph here and you have to get a notary sign now we are going to see sbi nra account opening form this is only for the person who don't have sbi account already if you have sbi account you don't need this step sbi nra account opening form before filling this form make sure to fill it in block letters and sign it in a black ink so if you want to nominate a person you have to fill the nominate nominee details here if you don't want to nominate any person you just want to sign here the applicant applicant one has to sign here and second applicant has to sign here if there is only one applicant the first applicant has to sign here account opening is mandatory for all sbi nra loan now we are going to fill the sole first applicant for personal details here we have to fill non resident indian nri next name first name and last name for the first applicant and father's name of the first applicant date of birth like first date month and year gender and nationality here and the marital status whether you are married or not and then mother's maiden name and pan number first applicant pan number should be filled here next your overseas address should be filled here next indian address preferably as per in the passport should be given here or as in the aadhar card so please tick all the communication your overseas address or indian address whatever address you want the communication so you can uh, uh, tick mark accordingly next you have to provide the email address here then passport details visa detail of the first applicant then identification details proof of identity it's very both are mandatory so you have to provide copy of relevant pages of passport copy of valid visa work permit then address proof mentioning the current overseas address so like copy of relevant pages of passport electricity bill or telephone bill original copy of latest bank statement etc should be provided additional document for the 
customer not visiting our branch so these are the additional document if you are not visiting the branch to open that the account you have to provide all any of this statement like copy of proof of income pay slip tax return etc all the document that you have provided should be attested by the notary public or authorized official at sbi all the documents are duly attested all the document that you are going to provide should be attested by authorized official at sbi foreign office or notary public or indian embassy or high commission additional details sir like your income should be filled here it's monthly or annually then what asset you have then eligion then category then qualification whether you are non graduate graduate post graduate and others then occupation type salaried business self employed retired student others so you should fill accordingly marketing office whether you need various um bank communications in the form of email sms or telephone or none you can provide what your ch what choice you have then you have to provide the date current date date month and year so it's this here have the signature of the first applicant should sign here this is for officers you don't need to fill this next this is you have to follow the same procedure for second applicant second uh, applicant has to sign here this is for office use next is the type of account whether it is nre nro or other account and type it is like saving or current at term deposit whatever you want then the first applicant should give their give their full name here and second ap applicant full name should be written here then what type of card you want like international card or domestic card for the first applicant one and applicant two like domestic or international you have to check it accordingly then internet banking for first applicant viewing rights for first applicant or second applicant for both transaction right for first applicant and second applicant sms alert is required or not required email alert yes no checkbook is yes, no telephone banking kit should be collected from the branch not they will not courier it to you so is yes or no mode of operation it's like cell phone li or either as a survivor former or survivor or any one or survivor jointly or others here the photograph of the first apl applicant should be pasted and here the photograph of the second applicant should be pasted you should not change the place of the applicant and the signature of the first applicant and signature of the second applicant here also make sure you should not change the place of the applicants this is for notary notary has to sign here then verification if not necessary if you have existing nro account with sbi if you already have ex existing nre or nro account that account number can be provided here then details of initial remittance and payment and renewal instruction should be given here then signature of the first applicant signature of the second applicant and this is for the office use here i have given the list of supporting documents required to avail the housing loans all these documents should be self attested and notarized here in this link i have given the list of document that has to be downloaded it is given in the description box hope you find this video useful please subscribe share and press the bell button thank you